thing, the reason how come I'm here is because my wife, the last couple of years, she's become unbearable to be around. Him and this woman is eye to eye. They haven't took their eyes off each other at all. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. 46-year-old Danny met 35-year-old Samara one day when he happened to see her walking past his window. Danny believed it was fate and that Samara was the woman of his dreams. Now, after three years of marriage, he's worried that she might become his worst nightmare. Right. If it ain't Samara's way, way, it's, no way. it's not going to happen. I don't care what kind of expression I got on my face, he feel like it's something wrong. Oh, is, is something wrong with you? What's wrong? Leave me alone. Danny says he's done with Samara's constant nagging. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Danny Worley and Samara Hopkins. Mr. Worley and Ms. Hopkins, the two of you have been married for three years. Uh, you don't have any children together, but you do both have children from previous relationships. Uh, Mr. Worley, you are done and out the door. You ready to roll, call it a day, end the situation, put a period on the matter entirely. Ms. Hopkins, you'd like to save it. But if you can't, you want to leave with $1,012.24 worth of credit card bills. You say he's run up. He's going to go. He's going to pay the bills when he does. That's your point of view. Uh, Mr. Worley, you say you don't owe it and that you should leave without having to pay it. Uh, Mr. Worley, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me why you think, why you want a divorce, why you want to leave Ms. Hopkins even though she doesn't want to leave you? The thing, the reason I come I'm here is because my wife, the last couple of years, she's become unbearable to be around. I mean, as far as we can yeah. sit around and we, 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 usually when people get mad at each other, mm -hmm. okay, later on you can cool off or whatever and, and everything will be fine. But that ain't what happens in, in, in my household, okay? Nope. She gets mad at me or whatever. Right. And instead of her just leaving it alone because I want to go and cool off or, or relax or whatever, she'll stay there and she'll come, like I'll be laying in the bed or something, she'll walk over to the bed, sit on the bed, smoke her little cigarette, you know, and then she'll just be sitting there talking about everything that's going on. He think he gonna do this, he think this to gonna happen. I talk out loud, but... Your Honor, because he doesn't listen. So you talk to yourself on the bed in his earshot. <laughs> because he so doesn't you listen. So you can say, he gonna do this, no, he gonna do that. No, it's, just, it's just that I, I'm talking, I'm, talk, I'm talking about the situation that I wanna talk about because he's, he has ears, so he can hear. So I feel like if I'm saying it and he's hearing it because if I try to come to him and talk to him, he doesn't talk to me. It's like, oh, I don't wanna talk, I can't take this no more, running out the door, staying weekend. You know, let me ask you this, Mr. Worley. She says she speaks to herself in your earshot because she can't speak to you directly. Is that accurate? Well, yes. Yes, okay. because... Now, why, why is it difficult for you to speak to her directly? Why can't that happen? Because I have a conversation with my wife uh -huh. and I could tell her something, okay, something that's real important or something that needs to be held on to, okay? Right. She'll hear it, but that's it. You know what I mean? I mean, there's no actions behind what I say. Like, if I say, okay, Samara, I need uh, all these things done uh, for, for, before we go do whatever, okay? Yeah, and he treats me I like a child, okay? He doesn't want me to just go do it. It's like, I'm doing it already, it's already done, but he's gonna go and, and inspect to see, okay, he's picking I'm in at the military, yeah, y'all, that's I can... what I do. I mean... She wants to have a conversation, Mr. Worley. She doesn't want to just obey orders. There's a difference. I can understand that. I can understand that. But see, there's a difference also when somebody's already said something, you know, for I, I'm not really an authority figure in this household. She's uh -huh. the one that actually, if something's going on or something's going to get done, she's the one that actually gets the final say, the final whatever's going to go down, it's going to be Samara's way. He does. If it ain't Samara's way, way, it's, no way. it's not going to happen. That's not true, I'm going to be Honor. sitting there arguing He's mad, the one that's outside doing whatever it is I feel like I want to do because she ain't going to hear nothing that I got to say. That's why we can't have a conversation. She says, I won't be hearing nothing she says, but it's only because if I have a conversation with you and I expect some progress out of the conversation and it don't happen, mm -hmm. I'm done with the conversation. He's controlling. Do you, 
Ms. Hodgson, let me ask you this. And I want to talk about the conversation because 99% of, of the couples that I see in there have no clue what a conversation is. He believes that a conversation is someone speaks and another person responds in a certain manner. Am I accurate? Correct, correct. Okay. Now, you know that's wrong, right? I, I, I know now. <laughs> that, I know that, that, people have that probably told me it. that, but I didn't hear it because my point of view to me is things should be very simple. One, two, three. One, okay? two, three. You can't skip one. I mean, you can't skip from one to three. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have to go through two. When he has a conversation with you, how does it roll? Okay, I can come to him and, you know, if it's not come eat or, um, you know, if it's, I got, if it's not two words saying to him, like, come boom, eat, boom. then it's, if I come with a, a full sentence, oh, it's, it's just, too much. oh, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm like, oh, I'm trying to talk to you. But if I say come eat, oh, he know, what to, he know how to do that. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll get that. back to the, the conversation and the communication in a moment. Mr. Worley, you also say you have a problem with the manner in which she raises or deals with her children. Why don't you explain that to me? In, in our house, there's a rule for her and her son, and there's mm -hmm. a rule for me and my two kids. When divorce court continues, is it Danny's way or the highway? It's because y'all took too long to do it. That's what I'm talking exactly. about. Everything should be, everything should just take that long to do. You, you already know it needs to be done. Is your mate getting on your last nerve? Be a guest. Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Danny Worley, who wants to divorce his wife, Samara, because he claims she doesn't respect his leadership at home. She ain't gonna hear nothing that I got to say. That's why we can't have a conversation. Give me an example of when you feel she's allowed him I'm to get away with something. I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I tell them all, every, every time, take out the garbage. Okay, that's plain as I can get. Take out the garbage. You know the day Tuesday, the garbage gotta go out. Okay, sometimes they get right to it. You know what I'm saying? But other times, I have to come back in the house, like if I come in from school or something, I come in the house and stuff ain't done. Then she got a problem, but he always yelling, I come home and stuff is out of order. Because if ain't nothing the way So, it's, is it all the kids' jobs to take out the garbage, the or do, do you pick it's, one? It's is it a two, rotation? It's the two boys. The two boys, boys. The two boys mm -hmm. and the garbage doesn't always go out. And it doesn't yes, it always does. go out. Yes, it does. Not, and and not, do not you not get angry when to. the garbage doesn't go out? What happens? You, you come home, the garbage is still there. And I'm a, I, as soon as I get home and the garbage is still there, I have a whole issue. I say, <laughs> look here. I done, been, I, I done told you all day that this needs to be done. Y'all already know what y'all supposed to do. Y'all coming here, y'all done sit around, you're playing with your mama, or you're playing the games, you're doing whatever else. And you didn't you, do your chores. You didn't do nothing you're supposed to That's do. That's not true, Your Honor. Mr. Ha Ms. Hobson, I, I'm going to say this. My husband has, on more than one occasion, told me, don't ask the boy. Tell him to do it. Don't have a conversation. Don't discuss it. Give him an order. Do you, do you, a little bit? No. Yes. Honor, this is, this is what happens. First of all, I don't let them take the garbage out until night. That's the way I, I let them get all the garbage from upstairs, downstairs, whatever. If I'm still cooking or I'm doing something and I still need garbage to go in there, then I don't let them take it out until I Because it's a logistical it matter. You know what I mean? Sense. Right. So when he comes in and it's not done, it's because I told him to wait. It's because y'all not... took too long to do it. That's what I'm talking exactly. about. Everything should be, everything should just take that long to do. You, you already know it needs to be done. You get up in the morning, I you, do everything, listen, you, she get he up in the morning, she knows she needs to brush her teeth, right? She be up way before dawn brushing her teeth. Okay, why can't the same thing go into what because I'm talking you know, about? Hang on, see, here we go. Most people don't know or understand what a conversation is. Let me explain to you what a conversation is. A conversation is a statement of position and a need, a desire, or a want. And then the other person makes sure she understands what that need, desire, or want is and responds to it in a certain manner. And then the two of you discuss why you want to do what you do, how you want to do it, and then figure out a way to get it done. Mr. Worley, you seem to think a conversation is I state you do. Right, exactly. And, and 
what she told me right here was, you stated about the, you want the garbage out now. She gave me a very logical reason why she waits till the end of the day. And you, and you don't seem to think, hmm, makes sense, let's do it like that. How come that doesn't make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me because why sit around and wait? If you got garbage... She just told you. Because later she on there's going to be something here that I need to go get, go take, no, whatever. No, no, you didn't... You, now, this is another thing. I, I'm going to give you something when you leave here. Please it, it, It's a book. It's called Making Marriage Work. I got a whole chapter on the two of you. Okay. Actually, I got two <laughs> chapters on the two of you. Okay. Here's the thing. You see a situation a certain way. You have to be able to get next to the notion you just might be wrong. <laughs> when Divorce Court continues, is Samara being insecure? Something just show up on the TV. Okay, I'm watching, she watching. First thing she'll do is... <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm looking at her like, hold on, I'm, I can't watch TV now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Samara Hopkins, who claims her husband treats her like a child. But will Judge Lynn be able to help this couple save their marriage? Mr. Worley, you seem to think a conversation is I state you do. Tell me other matters that you find distressing when seeking to speak with and live with this woman. Okay, other matters. We can sit and, like, we'll be watching TV, yeah. okay? And all of a sudden, it'll be a naked lady or something to pop on the TV. Uh-huh. Okay, here I am. What channel are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> Any, any channel okay, nowadays, ahead, you know what I'm saying? All right. But, uh, yeah, we, we'll be watching TV. So we're watching TV and something just show up on the TV. Okay, I'm watching, she watching. First thing she'll do is... <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm looking at her like, hold on, I'm, I can't watch TV now. I mean... That's not... Do you, I mean, do you, give, him, do you give him the funny eye because there's a naked woman on the television? No, no. No? He, this, he, now, he, you he know that is totally he, he tells false. Me, he tells me that I'm accusing him about anything, okay? It could be, like, we... You know, I feel like I feel like he he does things just to see it. I don't care what kind of expression I got mm -hmm. on my face. He feel like it's something wrong. Oh, it's, it's something wrong with you. What's wrong? Leave me alone. You know, this, that, and the other. So what you're telling me, he sees everything you do as related to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go on a cruise, Hang on. and there's a lady. Oh, that's singing. Her and her husband is a, a band or something there. We step in and dance, and the lady come over mm -hmm. with the microphone and get us to sing with her. We start singing with her and everything, and we all up into it. It's a Marvin Gaye song. So when we left up out of there... Good <laughs> we, music! No, I, 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 it's good when we, music. When we left up out of there, the first thing she did when we got in the foyer, mm, why you have to be all up in her face? What, 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 I said, hold on, we, we are entertainers. Right. That's what we do. Ms. Ms. Hopkins, do you get... Funny about no, his first of all, performances? No, first of all, she's singing the song and we're singing to each other. Right. As far as we were talking, mm -hmm. we we're singing, yes, like, you yes, know, yes, uh -huh. sounding yes. good, this and that. We're, you know, getting into it with her or whatever. All of a sudden, he didn't know I was right here. <laughs> it seemed like to me because like you now, just disappeared. Now, him and this woman is eye to eye. They haven't took their eyes off each other at all. And there she's coming toward him and they're singing and woo. I'm like, okay, it's wait, wait, I'm still hang here. on, just a minute. <laughs> Isn't that part of it, though? Yes. Well, it is. And okay, it, it would have been it would have been one thing for okay you to do that, and you know it, you do it for a second. This woman is way over there where you are, so they're eye contacted all the way until she gets right here. So he ain't turning back my way like I'm not there anymore. Period. Yeah. But it wasn't that just a moment in entertainment time. Yes. It was like, yeah, we hit a note, we got a we thing, we're moving. In. That's exactly yeah. what it was. She knows she you're there, he knows you're there, time. they're in front of everybody. But see, this is this is all the time. This ain't just That's a just how I am. I this speak, is all the time. We, he speaks to me like a child. He speaks to me like a child. He speaks to me like a child. Give me an example and, of of the manner in which he speaks to you that you find uh, disrespectful. 
just he yells and screams at me all the time. Like, okay, he's very con controlling and mm -hmm. and like one time we're we're he's sitting down there and he's watching TV and he's mm -hmm. drinking his beer or whatever. He has to use the bathroom. Okay, that's fine. Someone's in the bathroom. He goes upstairs. He's banging on the door, banging. <laughs> Hurry up out of there, this, that, and the <laughs> other, right? And so you know they're hurrying up out for him to go in. When he comes out. He goes, um, yeah, for now on, y'all come downstairs and tell me when you gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> so uh, so I can go first if I have to. Excuse me, Miss Worley. Tell me she made that hey, up. No, that's true. That is true. That's true. I, I appreciate your honesty. I'm, I'm, I do, I'm, I do. I'm gonna tell you why I did that. Please. Because anybody know when you watching TV, all right? Yeah. And you done drunk a lot or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to go right now. You can't just wait and, and, and you know. So I told them when I'm watching the games or whatever, say, tell me y'all finna go in the bathroom. You go in the bathroom. That way I know I ain't got to go up there yeah, yet. Somebody else is already in there. So, so but if you I, don't I, tell I, me and then I come upstairs he, and I got to go, I'm, man, what is y'all doing? He got, Get out of here. He, he, you know? He, that's why I asked Mr. Worley, like, how old are you, sir? Well, yeah, I'm 46, man. Now, by 46, you should have your bladder control situation <laughs> together. When Divorce Court continues, are Danny's expectations too high? Three, four times a week would be perfect for me. When we first got together, it was eight hours the first day. Divorce Court returns with the case of Danny Worley and Samara Hopkins, whose marriage is on the skids. Mr. Worley, I'm going to ask you. You say your wife, Ms. Hopkins, withholds sex from you oh, in yes. order to to, Honor, to garner compliance. That, I, before we get I, into I'll that, get back why did we talk Ma about Mr. that? Mr. Worley, Mr. Worley, <laughs> explain that to me. Because see, I'm a very aggressive person in bed. I love to make love to my wife. She is just that type of person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That now, I want. Now, when you say aggressive. Well, what does I like that to mean? Grab, don't I like say to too much. I, I, I know. I, I like to grab. I like to touch. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm you, you all know. about it. Yeah. I, you know, I, I do what I do when I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, 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 ain't, I ain't in there. I, 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 I ain't in there. I know you didn't mean it like it sounded, but I was deep. I ain't in there just to be in there. Is what yeah, I'm I, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm having fun. Yeah. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> that, oh, so you don't do it like that? But, but you're saying that she doesn't want. She's not as interested in intimacy it, as you are? Yes, yes. My whole thing with that is I, I could three, four times a week would be perfect for me. You know what I'm saying? When we first got together, it was eight hours the first day. He wasn't yelling you know at saying? me all the time yeah. in the beginning. But that's the way it always is in the beginning. Well, you know, it, it does going, taper though, off That's after why we years. ended up married is what I'm trying to tell you. That <laughs> and the way she cooked, I mean, come on. And Mr. Worley? I think you love this woman. Oh, yes. And I think that you should stay with this woman. Mm -hmm. And I, but, but, no, no, no. But before you do, you need to do a couple of things. Okay. Mr. Worley, you have to get an idea that a woman is a partner and not an employee. That's the, that's the thing that's killing you. That, and she wants to talk, 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 talk because you don't listen at all the first time. Mm -hmm. Women need to use fewer words and men need to increase the number of words they're willing to listen to. Yeah. That is what that is. You are two good people. I like you both. I want you two to learn how to have a conversation. I want you to learn what it means to be in the lead, because that's what you want to do. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> And, 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 but do so effectively. Mm -hmm. I hope you get better. I'm going to call you in six months and, and find out what's going on. My best of luck to you. I'm not giving anybody any money because if you do have an extra $1,000, go on marriage counseling because you two need to stay together. Thank I like you both. Thank you. There, this matter is adjourned. All right. Parties may leave the courtroom. I went up there and told them people, I love you, girl. Okay, then act like you love me. Well, let's do it. Come on, let's go. No. You gotta do better than that. You gotta show me. That ain't showing me. You got more to do. <laughs> I love her. I will always love her. Hopefully, we will come to terms. Don't Thank be so you, controlling. Judge Lynn Toller. Don't be so controlling. Uh, listen to me more. Do things that you're supposed to do as uh, my husband. She said and listen to her more. Don't be controlling. And she needs a little bit more effort from me. Yeah, exactly.